Who keeps saying them? Who are these them? Dimensional pirates. Hey, there's the exclamation point that I keep seeing. I have no idea what it means. Dimensional pirates. Dimensional pirates. A race of creatures made of completely of dimensional fluid. Gross. Because of this, they develop interdimensional traveling tech very quickly. Instead of sharing their knowledge, they took it to stealing from other dimensions. According to our reports, they should be hiding just beyond that door. That one. Okay, it's not past. It's present. Who is that boy? He isn't a pirate, is he? Of course he isn't. Well, what sort of looking kid? Or what a sorry looking kid. Are you all right, Will? You said what? You waged battle against the jellyfish robot? That must have been their boss. Never liked that guy. And you say there's no more creatures inside? They all killed each other because... Because they were trapped there. Oh, this is rich. Honestly, almost too good to be true. Please wait here a moment as I discuss the current situation with my crew. I like this guy's voice, it's annoying. You there, Lieutenant. Sounds like he's constipated all the time. Disperse this crowd, we need space. Hi, Captain! Except for the old man and the youngling that just fell out of that door. Pirates. Now these people. Thieves. All of them. All right, people, nothing to see here. You heard the captain. You don't have to go home, but... Well, you probably go home. Might be the last time you see it. Okay, move, please. You're making him sound like he's taking dope. <laughs> you had the same thought. <laughs> Upon discussion, I've come to a conclusion. I have to take a massive dump. For taking part in the theft of other dimensional artifacts. Everyone on this planet will be arrested. At least, technically, we should do that. But, this young boy served his part in helping us locate these pirates. He even went so far as to defeat the pirate boss. For now, let's just say that thieving won't be included in my report. Oh man, his voice is killing my throat. And as far as I can see, we don't need to investigate in further investigation. We will need... We will be shutting down these dungeons, though. The continued use of them would be a snowingly illegal action at this point. We shall not leave you high and dry, though. Due to your contact with other dimensional cultures, cultures we can't just leave you be. We have to vaporize your planet. Honestly, I would like to just wipe out all your memories. But, oh man, did that become taboo for a reason. That planet never really recovered. Anyways, back to the now. We will be inviting you to take part in the DCT. Dick Contest of Temporal Space. The Dimensional Commerce Treaty. Okay, completely different thing. This will allow you to legally trade and act in commerce with other dimensions. Per preparation to include you and your planet will take some time. For now, please inform your people and prepare them for the coming days. Alright, I call this a win. Let's pack it up. We will return with the treaty guys soon. It's been real. It's been a pleasure. But it hasn't been a real pleasure? <laughs> I wouldn't go so far as to say it's been a real pleasure, but you guys get it. Oh. 
Don't tell anyone you use the dungeons. Or we will come arrest everyone. Okay. Peace. Guy's goofy. I... I am still a little confused on what just transpired. But I have to say, it would appear you have done this town in our world a great service, Will. Next time, though, can you just listen to me and stay home? This is just too much excitement for my old bones. Well, then die! That was a terrible thing to say. Let us return to town and spread the good news. All right, look at my awesome gear, though. Wow, immediately to credits, okay. Okay, so that was Moonlighter. That game was really fun, I really enjoy that. I'm gonna, I'm so close to picking it up on the Switch. Love to play that on mobile device thing. But I liked it, that was fun. I didn't... If I would've known it would immediately went to credits, I would've bought the rest of the crap for the shop. Cause I'm pretty sure that would've been an achievement. But we're gonna let the credits roll out. Dang, we're only an hour and a half into stream. Now I gotta figure out something to do. I really liked that game. The art was beautiful. I liked the upgrade system. Uh, the the line between the adventure and the merchant portion of the game was very well defined, but it also both aspects of the game were really fun. Like most games like that where there's like two aspects of the game, I usually like focus on one and I despise the other. And like this is no interest to me. Like for example, uh, like Elite Dangerous. Like that game is really fun. Um, I haven't played the recent patches, so this is going off a few years ago as experience, but like mining and exploration were stupid boring to me at the time, so all I ever did was combat. Um, now they've greatly upgraded those and made massive changes. Look at all those people named Alexander. Um, so mining and exploration are now sound way more fun, but that's the only analogy I can draw right now is this game did really good at making both aspects of the game really fun. Um, even the merchant thing, which when I first was thinking was like, I would probably not spend much time doing that. Even the little time I did do it, I found it enjoyable. So, good job, devs. Um, the music was great. The art, I just loved. Uh, I liked a couple of the little nods to other nerdy things in the game. I did not know this was Kickstarter. I totally would, would probably kickstarted it just because of the art. Uh, I end up doing that. Excuse me. To a lot of games that I end up kickstarting, is like I just really like the art. Kickstart it. Hopefully, it turns out well. It's like a flim. What's it called? Flynn in the Crimson Purse or something like that. That looks awesome. And uh, the first room I eye to it was the art, but then the gameplay looks fun. So I'm excited for that game too. There's a line showing up in the game. Or is that my TV? Can't tell. It's all green liney. But yeah, I guess that was a uh, Moonlighter. Hope you guys liked it. Let's get my seal. We'll go get it. Go get this game. It's super fun. Uh, my hope after the credits, it puts me back into my game so I can actually continue. Even though it said don't use the dungeons because you'll get arrested. It's kind of a bummer to be like, oh man, I can't just keep going in and getting stuff from my shop. Although, doesn't really make sense because once you buy everything, it's like, well, now I'm just making money and nothing to do with it. So, I don't know how that is. Hi, Yellow. Hello.
cold fluorescence. Hello. Oh, excuse me. I would normally say it's like some Overwatch afterwards, but holy crap! I've been getting screwed over and completely. Hmm. Don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna let these cool. play through. Cause that's what we do. And also, I need to find out what we're playing next. Guess I hadn't. Playing that far ahead. Good job. I don't know. I think the current winning vote was uh, Half Life 2, which would also be a blind play. I've never played that. That's a lie. I played like the first 45 minutes. But that doesn't really count. And that was like in 2007. I'm not gonna remember jack shit about that game. Whatever I did learn. I always find it satisfying when, like, I look down and credits and stuff are rolling, and uh, the webcams and stuff are here, and it doesn't cut off any of the credits, you know? It's like there's a nice clear line there. I don't know why, but I find it satisfying. Chest needs to pop really bad though. Ugh. Hi, doggo. You're getting all sorts of spots on you. You're getting all sorts of spots. Hello. Hello, there. You wanna come over here? Ow. Sensitive bits. Ow! Sensitive bits. Okay. There you go. Well, I got a doggo laying on me now. Here, I'll show you guys. Look. Doggo laying on me. Go back so we don't miss any of the credits. Good job, good judges. Yes, you're small. You think you're small. Ow! Hyrule Encicio, Hyperion. Inigo de la Cruz. Let's see if we can find some fun names. In here. There's lots of James. Oh, uh, if any of these names have a full screen, that's gonna be great. name John the monk with the Jose Antonio Marin Lopez Bublin Lock 
Materialis. Marianus, Lebramanto, Dijaja. Lightning Blades. Luis Fabregas de los Santos runs in the middle. Luis Giacobetti or whatever. <laughs> and it looks like just one giant word. Santos Luis. Gardner, Ooh. Matt Defense, uh -huh. or is it Defense? Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, I was hoping to hold the screen to Matthew. Maximilian. I didn't know people were actually naming that. But like, Net Shadow Over. You choose Meerkat. <laughs> Screen of Michael. Full screen of Michael. Can we do it? Oh, oh so close. Oh, it might have been a full screen. I was looking at the full screen of Michael. A last name. There's a bunch of Michaels without a last name. Mogstorm. Mortarbore. Falcon. Pitimalous woo. Pitimalous. Song. Kind of sounds like a sim song. You know, like when you're building your house and stuff, sounds like you're doing that kind of music. Bo Martinson Jr. Ryu Aragi. Daniel Zirpa. Scanic, silent, friendly. What? Schlinnick. I hope I didn't say anything in a bad in German. Bad word in German. That guy said sick flu. Oh, it's sick W flu, so sick with flu. That's funny. Snoopy the gamer. Canadian. Nah. 
does that mean if he says sorry, he's not serious? Thunder. I thought that said Thorsten Ankle Boy. But it's Thorsten Askel Roy. Axel Roy. Totoro! Oh, snap. Come on, holy crap. I totally butchered that name. Unidentified coward. Ha. <laughs> Empiric kitty. Various. All the cool names are coming out now. We from you. Which proofed? And then a couple Russian names. The variant. Each of your sudden. Thanks for playing! 